Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to make this really cute fun fold card. It's a gatefold shadow box card we're using the cute little gnome. So you slide the belly band off and then this is the way the card opens up. So it sits up like that. So adorable. It's got a little gnome in there and one on the front. And this was one of our cards that we made for the retreat. So I don't know if this was my shoebox swap or one of the make and takes. I couldn't decide at the time of this card, of this video making. So we're going to go ahead and make this card today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here are all the pieces. You're going to need a piece. Now I'm using the sweet sorbet. This piece is cut at five and a half by eight and a half. So score those to make your gatefold piece right here. And then you're going to need another piece. This piece is cut at five and a half by six and a half. And you're going to score it at a half inch. Let me just fold these as we go. So a half inch, one and five eighths, four and seven eighths, and six. So you should have two half inch score lines on the end. Okay. So this is where we're going to do some die cutting. So I went ahead and already did that, but I'll show you what I did. Then I have some designer paper. This is the 22 through 24 in color, the sweet sorbet using the polka dotted side. So cute. Two pieces cut at two by five and three eighths. Then you're going to use two pieces of basic white. Now the second piece is optional. You can add it to the back for signing. So both of these are cut at four and one eighth by five and three eighths. One's going to be for the inside for the shadow box and then one for the back for the signing. Then your belly band piece, which is also sweet sorbet. This is cut at three fourths by eight and a half and you're going to score on one end at two and one eighth. That's just going to help you guide for your belly band. And then I use the stitched rectangle dies in the sweet sorbet and the basic white. We're going to put our gnome on the basic white and this one is cut at one and three quarter by three and an eighth. Then the sweet sorbet is cut at three and a half by two and a quarter. Okay, so those are going to be for the belly band on the front. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our dies. I'm going to show you exactly what I did for the die cut. Okay, so this is our five and a half by six and a half inch piece right here. So you, hopefully you can see these two center score lines because that's what you're going to take your die. And I'm using the layering diorama dies. And we're using the fourth one from the smallest. So hopefully you can see all the different sizes here. So you have one, two, three, and then this would be four. And this fits perfectly in the center of these two score lines, right in the center. Okay, so we're going to die cut that out, which I've already done with your die cut machine. Okay, so this is what that looks like after you die cut that piece out. So you have your little shadow box peek through here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some stamping on our base here for the inside. We're going to use the Kindest Gnomes. This is the stamp set we're using with the little mushroom house. And then it also has a coordinating die, which is the gnome dies. And this is what I use to die cut all the pieces, our little gnome, which looks like this. So you can see I use the Sweet Sorbet for the hat, Basic White for the beard, and then for the nose, I use the Petal Pink and then the Crumb Cake for the feet. So I use the dies for that. Okay. And this is also available in a bundle where you can save 10% when you purchase them together. And this is in the holiday catalog. So we're going to be using the Sweet Sorbet Classic Ink to stamp our little mushroom house. And we're just going to stamp the mushroom house just randomly, turning the stamp and the cardstock if you want to stamp different positions of the mushroom. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I stamped it randomly around the inside, which is right here. So we're going to put our basic white, one of our basic whites. Remember, this is the four and one eighth by five and three eighths. It's going to go right in the center. All right, now if you want, now if they're stamping, instead of stamping, we're going to actually put the gnome in here. But if you want to stamp an image, let me show you another one that I did using the little moose and the raccoon. So here's this one. Isn't this cute? It's feeling a lot like Christmas with the cute raccoon on the front. 
and then I have the little mousse on the inside. So you can see that I actually stamped this. So if you're stamping an image on the inside on this piece of basic white, what you'll want to do is take a pencil, line this up in the center, and then just trace this outline here. So you'll get an idea of where to stamp your image so that will show through your window for the shadow box. Now we're going to go ahead and add some tear and tape. So we're going to put our tear and tape on the two outside half inch score lines. Peel off the backing. I'm actually going to do one side at a time. So we're going to take off the backing on one side over here and we're going to line this edge up with this edge over here. Just line that up. Both edges should line up nicely right there. Okay. And then you're going to peel off the backing on this side and bring that one over to this side over here. Line that edge up over there. Okay, isn't that cute? So then the card closes. Let me get my bone folder. I'm gonna burnish those fold lines really nice. Okay, so then the card opens up and then you can see where I did my outline. So you wanna erase that pencil line. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so my pencil line is gone. So now, like I said, if you're just gonna put your little gnome on the inside, you don't really need an outline because you're just gonna set it right between those cut lines. All right, so let's go ahead and put our gnome together. I have one cut out here. I wanna show you what I did. So I'm gonna put my little beard, I'm gonna flip that over. I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back for the feet. And you can see the right side has X's for his feet. And I'm gonna put some adhesive on his nose. You could also put a dimensional, which would be really cute. And his nose would be really cute. And then his hat. Now his hat has stitched lines around the edges, so you wanna make sure that that's facing the right side. We're gonna put that right onto the gnome. Then we're gonna put dimensionals on him. Like that. So this one already has dimensionals on the back. So we're just going to put one of these on the inside of our little window. So you're just going to set him on the inside. Just like that. And then the belly band. Oh wait, we got our two greetings here. This one is the Be Cool, Be Chill, Be Merry. And this one is to the coolest friend ever. And those greetings are from the Penguin Place, right here to the coolest friend ever. Be cool, be chill, be merry. So, and I've already put the mini dimensionals on those. So I'm gonna put the coolest friend ever on the inside across my gnome's beard. <laughs> so cute, so cute. So let's go ahead and put our two pieces of designer paper onto the front. Remember, these are cut at two by five and three eighths. These are gonna go on the panels of our gatefold. Now we're gonna put our belly band on. Remember, we scored one end at two and one eighth. So I just find that that's a little bit easier to get the belly band started. So start that with the two and one eighth end over here and then just wrap this one around to meet. And it's not gonna meet in the center like to overlap, but that's all right. So let me show you how we're gonna build our belly band. We're gonna take our sweet sorbet layer and I'm gonna put some adhesive in the center of that. I'm gonna put this in between or right in between the gatefold. So we're gonna line up our belly band right over that and then bring that in and you want the belly band snug but not too tight because you want the receiver to slide this off 
Okay, so seal that down. Then you can also put dimensionals on that if you want to add a little bit more, you know, secure it down a little bit more because the basic white piece is going to go over top of that. And I'm going to put more dimensionals on this, one in each of the corners at the top and the bottom. And then we got the center already covered here. Then this is going to go over top of that. Okay, so it's building the belly band as one piece so it moves all together. Okay, and then we're just going to take our other gnome. I'm going to put this one right on front. <laughs> and then take the other greeting, be cool, be chill, be merry. That one's going to go across the beard too. So there's, there's the card, isn't it cute? Okay, so then you open it and that's what it looks like is the shadow box for the gnome. Isn't it cute? And then we can add our second piece of the basic white, your four and an eighth by five and three eighths to the back for another greeting. Or you could even stamp one of the gnomes on the back. Be really cute card to sign on the back. And there's your belly band. Okay, so let me show you the other two. Okay, so here's the other one with the gnome. And then here's the one with the raccoon and the moose on the inside, which are stamped. Sending wishes for a cool Christmas. And then this one says it's feeling a lot like Christmas on the front. Isn't he cute? Okay, so if you have any questions, please let me know. That's what I'm here for. Also, if you like today's video, give me a thumbs up. Okay, see you later. Bye.